Michael Asher, Untitled 1991. Michael Asher, of all the artists in the Stewart Collection, one could say that his work is the most purely conceptual. His work is completely determined by the site where it finds itself. After several years of consideration, he settled on this place at the center of what used to be Marine Corps Rifle Range Camp Matthews. Asher's work is not just the part he physically added, but the whole site. And in its scope, it encompasses the origins of the campus as a military training facility where over a million US Marines received their weapons training. This work does what sculpture does in that it functions as a representation. It's a copy of a drinking fountain fixed in time because of its specific design that, as time goes forward, becomes more and more a historical artifact. It's institutional. It's functional. It's also a public fountain as it splashes water and the polished granite is decorative. It is completely integrated to the site, completing what was previously an unbalanced composition. This drinking fountain is an exact replica of the kind of fountains that you find in offices and schools and businesses everywhere. The fountain is made out of granite and it sits in the middle instead of up against the wall. And you can have a drink of filtered, cooled water. So this work becomes art by virtue of its placement and virtue of its material. And mostly, by its relationship to the flag and the stone. Many people have a drink out of this fountain without realizing that it's art, but if you think about it, it is an odd placement, and if you think about why it might be out there, you might discover uh, more than you had initially known. Part of what art is about is the act of discovery, and here there's much to discover. He was commissioned across the world, but his interventions were mostly always temporary and they remain only as documentation and ideas. His legacy is very much alive, but this is his only permanent public installation. <laughs>